Okay, hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are going to be unboxing my brand new 11 inch M4 iPad Pro 2 terabyte. So let's get to unboxing. So, like I said, this is the 2 terabyte model as you all can see. And it's the Wi-Fi and cellular. So let's get to unboxing. And the reason behind me getting a new iPad was because my MacBook Pro, I got it in 2018 and it's a 2017 MacBook Pro. The other day it stopped working on me. It finally stopped working. And I needed a new device to edit my YouTube videos, the ones that you're watching now. Um, I needed a new device to edit it on so I went with a brand new iPad Pro. My dad bought this for me so thank you Pops. So I am so excited. Let's unbox it. And then I have accessories over here to go along with it that I'll also unbox and show you. But we'll start with the iPad first. Oh my goodness, there's my brand new iPad. Let's lock it. Up there for right now. Oh my goodness, this is super thin like wow this is so thin i'm not going to remove the covering just yet because it's nice and clean and i want to um be able to put an excess like uh i got a screen protector i'll show you in a, a second on there but let's keep unboxing Ooh, we got a nice black um like the braided cable because i got the space black ipad pro this is nice. So that's what else is in the box. And then you get the brick to charge it. It's not space black, which I wish they would have done it all to match, you know, but it is okay. Got that there. Now let's get into some accessories. I'm going to start with the screen protector. Got this screen protector off Amazon. I think it was like 10 bucks or whatever. Inexpensive. And it's um, a paper feel screen protector. So like it'll work with the uh, Apple Pencil. So I am going to open this. So you get two screen protectors and a cleaning kit. I don't need the cleaning kit today because the iPad is clean from the factory. Remove protective film following application instructions. Let me um, set this up and I'll be right back. Peace. So I'm back. I got the screen protector on my iPad Pro here. So now we are going to unbox the iPad Magic Keyboard. So here it is. So let's unbox it. Ooh, look at this. Wow, this is nice. And it has a USB-C there so I can charge my iPad while it's on here. This goes like this. Sticks. Ooh, look at that. So, we got the iPad Magic Keyboard. Now, we are going to unbox the Apple Pencil Pro here. Uh... So yeah, let's unbox it. Designed by Apple in California, everything says. Ooh! 
here it is wow this is so nice and it says apple pencil pro there this is so nice can you see it is it showing there you go look how nice this is and then this magically attaches to your ipad here oh, look at that so now we're going to turn on our ipad see an apple logo so let's let it turn on and while that turns on let me open up my last and final accessory so I needed a brand new SD card reader because the one that I was using for my MacBook Pro which is this one I have it right here it worked great but it's like breaking so I put a piece of tape so I was like time to get a new one this one was like a hundred and something dollars and I wasn't gonna get an expensive one so I just went on Amazon literally looked up SD card reader and I found this one it's in it's a triple reader it's uh, CF Express which is that long bottom one it's regular SD and it's also micro SD so here it is. This is so nice for only being like 10 bucks because Apple does have an SD card reader, but it's like 40 bucks. So I was like, let me get this one. I got a hello, English, United States appearance default looking for setup without another device oh iphone i can do it with my iphone so perfect let me set this up and i'll be right back peace all right guys i finished setting up my ipad pro and oh actually this just came up on the app welcome to apple pencil pro so it says here your apple pencil pro unlocks a whole new ipad os experience letting you and a draw, markup, and edit in the apps you use every day. Squeeze. Lightly squeeze Apple Pencil Pro to access the tools you need. Switch tools with a gesture. Double tap your Apple Pencil Pro to easily switch tools as you write, sketch, or draw. Scribble. You can write in any text field and your words automatically transform into type text. Easily capture screenshot. Wipe your Apple Pencil Pro from the bottom left corner of your iPad to take a screenshot. Continue. It says, hover over the screen and squeeze Apple Pencil Pro to quickly access the tools you need. Try squeeze. Oh, that's cool. And then I see it there. See that? That's pretty cool. Continue. Try scribble. So let's gonna do it here. Not really doing anything. See what happened. Look at that. <laughs> I like scribbled and it knew to put my name. So that is awesome. Whoop. Can you? So yeah, then it says I can find my Apple Pencil, so I'll add that in a second. But now uh, let me just show you what I have on my iPad Pro. This is like the like main screen here, as you can see. And then this is the other screen, like the next one over. with all like my social media, and then I have photo and video so I did download the Final Cut Pro app for iPad as you can see there then I have all my entertainment like Netflix and everything then I have my like lifestyles that I use like I'll even show you well I have to sign into it but I'll show you on my phone because it'll do the same thing so
I got lights to turn off and on. You guys, what those apps are like the smart home apps essentially. And then I just stuff literally all the extras in one folder. So that's what I have on my iPad. I don't have any of because on my phone I have like food apps, like the you know, like the Starbucks app. So I go and I scan for points and stuff. I don't have that on here. I need food apps. And then I also didn't download all the shopping apps I have besides like Amazon. Because on my phone, if you go, I have all these different shopping apps for different stores and retailers. I was like, I don't want to take up space on my app. Have that, that type of stuff I could always do on my phone and whatnot. And the same thing with like my Lyft app that I use. I don't, um, here, there you go. Um, I don't need to, um, have it on my phone, on my iPad because... Again, normally would use my phone for that. But yeah, see you in a second. Peace. Alright guys, here is video on the iPad Pro M4. This is that 4K 60 frames per second. So yeah, peace. Ugh, I'm back guys. This is so sad. But this was my MacBook Pro that I've been using to edit, you know, the YouTube videos that you guys watch. That I'm currently making one right now. Um, it died on me this week. It just stopped working. And I can't get it to work again. I can't even sign in or nothing. Um... But I've used this MacBook Pro since 2018 when I got it. It was my graduation gift from high school. And I got this MacBook Pro. This is the 2017 MacBook Pro that I got in 2018. It finally died on me. Been what, like seven years later? So I did sing the other day. Amazing Grace. I said my final goodbyes. Rest in peace, MacBook Pro. You will be missed. It's very sad saying goodbye to that. But it's okay. I have my iPad Pro here now to work off of. Also with this iPad Pro, it's the standard glass. They also have for like an additional upcharge, I don't know the exact number, you can get the nano texture glass, but we, my dad just got me the standard glass, which is totally fine. So here is the Final Cut Pro app for iPad, which is different than the MacBook Pro one. Slightly different, but you know, because with this one, you have to pay $4.99 a month, or for a yearly subscription, it's $49.00. For a whole year, whereas the one for Max, you pay two ninety nine, two hundred ninety nine dollars for a lifetime subscription. I do like that over this, but this is okay because it's not that expensive. Only paying forty nine dollars a year is better than nothing. And just like that, you're all set. I just purchased. Final Cut Pro for iPad Pro. So, yeah, that's my new iPad Pro. I am so excited that I have it. So, I'm going to be, you know, editing for you guys right now and uploading a video today. But when you're seeing this video, it'll be the video I'm going to upload. What I mean is, I'm uploading. A video already be uploaded by the time you see this and then this one's going up after so yeah thanks for being here with me while i unbox my brand new ipad pro i want you to give this video a like subscribe comment and ding the bell and i'll see you next time bye bye peace out Mwah. iphone clip here i've been um editing on my m4 ipad pro and it's going really well i do like the apple pencil because with the apple pencil i can scroll 
and select and play. Even like drag a clip. And it works really well. And then the Magic Keyboard also works really well. I could even just scroll with my finger here. That works really well. So like, for example, this here, let me go there. That, thanks for watching. Oops, and add a little letters as I'm doing here. As you can see, it works so great. So it literally basically feels like I have my um, MacBook Pro, but it's not a MacBook Pro, it's the iPad Pro. And it's touch screens too, which I like, which with my MacBook Pro, I was like really wishing it was touch screen because my um, computer I had previous to my MacBook Pro was touch screen, like my desktop I used to have. And then when I got a MacBook Pro, all I wanted to do was touch the screen but it you know it's not touch screen but now that i have this i really love the touch screen i love the um magic keyboard i really do love the pencil and as far as final cut pro for ipad it's great hopefully in the fu future they'll have more updates and more features and stuff because there are some things i wish that i had here that are only available on the um, Final Cut Pro for Mac. One of those being is the, when you watch my videos, you see me always using the typewriter to write stuff, which I do, this is typewriter, but the way it like comes in, transitions in each, like each letter comes on its own. Like you'll see like the letter J, then U, then you know what I mean? This one, however, is like this. I did this transaction, so I did it like this. So it comes like that, and it goes. So that's my new one for right now. So yeah, this is just my first impression of using it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go now, so give the video again a like, subscribe, comment, ding the bell, and I'll see you next time, bye-bye, peace. <laughs>